Hello everyone, I'm Becky. Every so often I pop onto my YouTube channel and share 10 happy things that have been going on in my life. And I am so aware I haven't made one of these videos in the longest time. I've been really busy working and I just kind of got out of the habit. But I had my camera all set up for a job I was doing today, an educational job, and I thought I would pop on and share all the stuff that's making my heart sing at the moment. Let's start with spring flowers. I know I always talk about flowers, but they just are so jolly. And especially these daffodils with the orange center, I think they look like eggs and they make me think of East. I love spring flowers, especially daffodils and hyacinth. And I like the scent. These are really beautifully centered. So. They are making me smile and even when I'm driving along, look out my window and see them, I just, oh, it just fills me with joy. I have had a really good couple of months. Last month, I did something very, very exciting off my live bucket list. I made a TEDx video. I went to a TEDx conference and I gave a talk on how to raise kind children, a subject very, very close to my Heart and what a privilege to stand on a TED conference and with my speech. I was so scared. And I think when you watch it, I'll put the link below. You can really, really tell I was so, so scared because I'm not very smiley at all. But I think it went pretty well. My daughter was allowed to introduce me on the stage. And that was a really beautiful moment. And my friends came along to watch. And yeah, terrifying, but really great and I've had some lovely lovely messages from people since I gave that talk about what kindness meant to them or who taught them about kindness and why it matters or what they've taken away from that talk and they're going to do their children and that's been really special so one off my bucket list I gave a TED talk and uh, yeah I am working at the moment on a bit of a top secret project but I'll tell you, I have written since Christmas four books. Now, I know that sounds really, really, really over the top. <laughs> it probably is. That's why my eyes are so tired. But three of them are small books. They are quote books. And they're called 365 Days of Calm, 365 Days of Kind, and 365 Days of Happy. And they're available now to pre-order on Amazon. They'll come out in September. But each one is filled, they're for kids, and each one is filled with inspirational quotes about calm, happiness, and kindness. And there are affirmations each week too, and there's an activity for each week of the year. And what a joy writing them. I spent my days immersed in quotes and inspirational words, and they just made me really super, super happy to produce. I really hope you're gonna like them, they're very cute. They're quite a small size and they're going to have a lovely ribbon and the covers are gorgeous and they're full of colour. And hopefully kids will have a check in each day of the year and read these inspirational words and just be inspired. So that's my plan. The other book I was working on, can't really talk about at the moment. I have two more in the pipeline. Very, very lovely projects that I'm working on, which is great. So. We haven't really been anywhere very exciting. Went on a snowdrop walk last weekend at home Pierpont Hall. That was really beautiful. And that was, yeah, just, just a delight. But where else have we been? Oh, we went to Cambridge to look at the university, which was beautiful. Downing College at Cambridge, stunning, stunning and exciting. My son goes to university this year, so we've been looking at various places. It's probably my favourite so far. I also bought myself a new car. Um, I've only owned three cars in my entire life. This was just before Christmas. It is a powder blue mini Cooper convertible. And I saved, saved, saved for it. And it's my dream car. It's tiny, not really big enough for the kids. The boots are the size of a matchbox, but the top comes down and it's such a cute colour and I love it. 
<laughs> so happy. Before that, I've only ever owned a Punto. Gosh, I can't even remember what the other one was. Something like, how can I forget <laughs> three cars in my life? What did I have? Um, I don't know. It'll come to me. I <laughs> just got rid of it too. Obviously wasn't inspired about it. One was red and shiny. <laughs> and the other one was white. Just, oh, it was a Corsa. Little Nissan Corsa. Just didn't like it really. It wasn't for me. This is the car for me. I'm so excited about it. Still, every time I get in it, I'm like beaming. And for Christmas, I was bought a personalised number plate, which I know is a bit silly, but it makes me ridiculously happy. I have, probably like a lot of people, through lockdown, put on weight. I think partly it's because I work in a corner of the kitchen. And it's really easy just to get it up and go and like get snacks, but I have put on weight. I've always liked my food too much. So I've took it in hand now and I've put myself back at the boring swimming club and um, exercising every day. I've gone back to the gym finally after a long break through lockdown and I've been going swimming and walking. I feel so much better for it and I've got a way to go, but I do feel like I'm getting stronger and fitter and healthier. I don't quite know why I let it all go, but I did. But anyway, feeling better now. Also doing a bit of a massive house declutter because again, just too much stuff. And I'm not quite sure how it all accumulated, but it needs to go. I really like decluttering, but I hate the bit we have to pile up your car and go to the tip. Really like the bit where I go to a charity shop and give them loads of books. I know they're going to sell it and make some money, but going to the tip, I feel bad that I'm adding to landfill and just feel always really nervous. I don't know why. No one else feel nervous at the tip. I just feel nervous at the tip. I've been thinking about holidays, have nothing planned for this year because we don't know what's going to be happening about university or anything else. But I have in my head that I want to go to Dubai. I've never been to Dubai. Anyway, like that really. And um, someone I vaguely know on Instagram went recently and it looks so marvellous. They slid down a glass slide in this big glass building. They went to the markets. It just looks so, so amazing. But the main thing I want to go for so there's something called the Miracle Gardens in Dubai. Now, please, if you've ever been, drop me a message. And it has over a million flowers and they make arches and teddy bears, and boats, everything out of these flowers. And I can just imagine how beautiful these tropical flowers would be and how it, it would be really centred. And so I would really love to go to Dubai. Um, what else have I got to tell you? That's about all my news, really. I am thinking as Easter comes along, the book festivals are going to start back up and I'm pretty excited about that. Last year, Catherine and I wrote a nature craft book and because of coronavirus and everything else, we didn't get to do many festivals around it. And plus it didn't come out till September, but in the summer there are book festivals and we are hoping to take our nature craft book and go and do lots of presentations and get kids involved in workshops and really show off nature craft and play so that's exciting and that's coming up and anyway, i've talked enough and i've got things to do so i'm gonna go but i just wanted to check in and say hi because it has been forever since i made one of these videos i'm well things are going okay obviously life has its ups and downs but you've got to focus on the good stuff right hope you're well too take care